Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. A video depicting a teacher physically assaulting students at a coaching center in Angol district has gone viral. The incident was reported from a coaching center in Sapoisai area under the Chandipada police limits. After receiving the news, local police reached the coaching center and started an investigation into the matter. Two lecturers were suspended on charges of securing jobs by submitting fake mark sheets in Odisha's Bolangir district, a source said Saturday. The suspended lecturers were identified as Narendra Nag and Lingaraj Meher. Both of them were posted at Rajendra Meher Higher Secondary School in Jogimunda village. Higher Education Department has issued a suspension letter for the duo and has asked Patnagar sub-collector to take appropriate action. The Enforcement Directorate today said that it has attached assets worth Rs 1.53 crore as proceeds of crime acquired by Jyoti Ranjana Beuria alias Golden Baba, the proprietor of Jyoti Trading and Co. Bhubaneswar. The ED initiated PMLA investigation against Golden Baba in connection with an alleged fraud perpetrated by him by providing loans of Rs 5.50 crore to businessmen in Odisha. A joint task force has been formed to provide protection in Simlipal Wildlife Sanctuary in Mayurbhanj district. The task force will start its operation from September 1. It will strengthen the security cover around the sanctuary and prevent poaching of animals. Female sub-inspector Kajal Bag, who allegedly went missing from Bhima Bhoi Medical College and Hospital in Bolangir, was found at a native place, her father confirmed Saturday. The SI had disappeared mysteriously from the hospital where she was admitted following her alleged suicide bid August 23 night. A video showing a school teacher asking her students to slap a boy from a minority community and also passing objectionable remarks against the community has gone viral on social media. The teacher, identified as Trapti Tyagi, can be seen asking the students of class 2 of a private school in Kubbapur village in Uttar Pradesh to hit a child belonging to Muslim community. Mobile internet and bulk SMS services will remain suspended in Haryana SNA for two days due to law and order concerns after right-wing outfits declared that they will not cancel their religious procession August 28. The district administration had denied them permission to take out the Bridge Mandal Jal Abhishek Yatra in NA August 28, citing security concerns. A deadly fire accident in a privately booked coach at Madurai railway station, Tamil Nadu, claimed the lives of nine people and left 20 injured. According to Southern Railway's Chief Public Relations Officer B. Guganesan, the fire was triggered by an illegally smuggled gas cylinder. Following the massive achievement of Chandrayaan-3, Prime Minister Modi visited the ISRO Telemetry Tracking and Command Network at Bangalore Saturday to congratulate and interact with the Chandrayaan-3 team. He said the touch point of the spacecraft will be called Shiv Shakti and August 23 will be celebrated as National Space Day to commemorate the ambitious and successful space mission. After the successful Chandrayaan-3 mission, the Indian Space Research Organization is now gearing up to launch a solar mission named Aditya L1 this September 2 to study the Sun. It will be the first dedicated Indian space mission for observations of the Sun. It aims to provide insights into the Sun's behavior. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.